Hello friends, let's have fun with Salesforce CPQ. So I have amazing Zomato configuration to show the yummy food listing using Salesforce CPQ. So let's see how we do it. So here's the demo. So we have Spice of India restaurant and it offers butter chicken, uh, tandoori roti, gulab jamun with amazing prizes. And then we have Italian bistro offering penna cotta. And then we have South Spice offering masala dosa and idli sambar. So that is the yummy configuration. We are going to demo that how it looks. So we have two scenarios. So we are wanting to configure Yummy Zomato product configuration using CPQ. So let's get started. The scenario one is that customer can search for restaurant and get the menu items. And then scenario two is customer searches for menu items like gulab jamun and get prices from different restaurants. So let's see in action. So scenario one. So for that, let me delete everything and let's do from start. So I have a quote where I did the edit lines and I'm here. So now I will click on add products. Okay. So here, uh, let me go to restaurant listing and say apply. So how I am seeing it. So here I have configured the products and I have different restaurants spice of india tandoori express maraja bhog south spice bombay biryani house italian bistro and then i have all the menu items so these all are coming as products like paneer tikka dal makhani lachha paratha gulab jamun rasmalai jalebi i know you will be feeling hungry so everything is here all the products are here so now i i as a user i want that okay i want to select a particular restaurant and based on that i want to choose some things choose some menu so okay i want to go to spice of india okay let's select it and then let's do the reconfigure line so see right now the price is zero why the price is zero so the reason being because i have set the list price of this as zero so it's a demo but uh, I will just show you a basic brief of it that if you go and check the price rule for it, it will be coming as zero because it will be coming dynamically from lookup query and the price rule. So we are here, Spice of India. And here I click on reconfigure lines and I select maybe butter chicken and then I want mm, naan and then I want raspalai. Oh, I also want gulab jamun. Okay, cool. So I'm feeling hungry, I guess. So I click on save and see. Beautifully, it is bringing all the prices here. So it is bringing from the table, restaurant menu, whatever prices we have used. So all the prices based on menu items and the restaurant names are coming here. Um, okay, cool. That's great. I'm able to see all the prices um okay let's try another restaurant another thing for example i want to have uh for instance let's say um uh, dosa why not so i will just click on select here and i will go to south spice and let's say i want dosa okay it also offers italy okay i want that also so see right now it shows a zero and i click on save and what happens it shows beautifully the prices so now it achieves the scenario one that is the user can search for restaurant and get menu items but in most of the cases what happens is we particularly go and search for the menu item and based on that the restaurant name comes right and then shows the prices so let me just go to add products so here i have used the guided selling feature so for instance i want indian and i want dessert and none okay and click on save and i see various uh, items here so rasmalai jalebi gulab jamun okay let's select gulab jamun for instance okay let's select that okay 
so i have gulab jamun here um uh, i also want to have uh, pina colada okay let's have it here so if you see um you can even type it here also so panna cotta if you want to have you can just see and select it so right now if you see the price is coming as zero but for example uh, we can even have the pick list but for now we have put it as text so if i put uh, spice of india and click on save calculate so what will happen that based on the restaurant name and the menu name it will be showing us the prices okay uh, let's see another time so for example let's see which all restaurants offer gulab jamun so let me go here and put as gulab jamun and click on okay and maharaja bhog and a bombay biryani house also offers it so we can always have a pick list here and then update accordingly but for now i have put as maharaja bhog and click on calculate and see uh gulab jamun is of so $4 uh, in uh, spice of india and $5 in maraja book or $4 in maraja book and the similarly i can again see that okay uh it shows gulab jamun should be $2 of bombay biryani house okay cool so i can go here and put it as uh here and click on calculate and it shows us the amazing prices so this is how we will be able to do it and let's click on save and wonderfully we are able to generate a quote with all the items we have uh, and this is how we will be able to create a beautiful zomato listing using cpq thank you